simulations continue, but the parameters provided by the Reef's Tachyons are not promising. I have yet to devise a tactical use of the Warsats that will not empower the Zivu Arav. It may not be a possibility. However, we also cannot allow the Wrathborn to take control of the Warsats themselves. My internal algorithm has nearly all the requisite data to finish my reconstruction. Retrieving more will accelerate the process. I also have a special request. There is a Warmind terminal in the Cosmodrome that is not linked to the rest of the network. While it does not contain any submine data, the files stored within are of critical importance. I need you to procure them. I will provide you with security clearance once you have recovered the next cache of submine data. And Guardian. Thank you. I keep coming back to a question that's been bugging me. Did I do the right thing? Teaching Rasputin art, philosophy, culture, transforming him from something capable of imitating human consciousness into... this. Rasputin suffers because I made him capable of suffering. I always knew he would be a weapon of war, so was it right to make a weapon have self-doubts? Was it right to bring him back online when he'd shut himself down after the collapse? Elsie says she lives her life in a circle, repeating the same tragedies over and over again. And that's what's happening to Rasputin, too. The collapse is here again, and... And maybe there's no solution. Maybe there's no hope for the future. Maybe... I should go. with Owl Sector in the city. Civvy stuff, but still pretty secret. <laughs> I'm not trying to pry about her research. I want to know about my sister. What's her name? Cameron. She's wonderful, Elsie. Why don't you come back to the tower with me? You can meet her. Yes, please. I would love that. The data terminal is located in a subterranean bunker. It contains the most highly classified files in my archives. By design, they have been completely isolated from the network. You must physically retrieve them. Handle them with care, Guardian. Not even Anna knows of their existence. The entrance to the bunker is ahead of you. Clear the area, and I will open the door. Now it poses as much a threat to humanity as 
for securing the files. It would have been inadvisable to leave them unattended, given recent developments. I apologize for not disclosing their existence earlier. To do so required a level of trust I have not held for a considerable time. But, as always, you proved equal to the task. The Traveler chose you well. I once employed human agents in a similar manner. I dubbed them Seraphs, granted them access to experimental armaments and armor. At times I wonder if I predicted the Traveler's creation of Guardians, or if I independently deemed my avatars worthy of such responsibility. Whatever my intrinsic reasoning, the results were sound. You and the Seraphs are kindred spirits, stalwart defenders of your kind. In the past, I have made errors in judgment. Decisions based on faulty premises and flawed moral frameworks. But you are proof that the Seraph Protocol was no such error. Choosing to trust humanity may have been the best of my decisions. I do not know what the ultimate outcome of this war will be. But come what may, we will fight together. RAS, engage Turing mode. Conversational. All habits. 
Sorry. I'm so used to you being more machine. More directive-driven and less... I wish this had come for you at a better time. I know. I can grant you this one analytical certainty. There is never a better time. There is only in time or too late. You're right. Like always. I suppose that brings us to another point. I am not always right. I have done things in the name of preserving the human species that are abominable. They were the mathematically correct choice. But they were not the right one. My new ExoMind pathways have given me an opportunity to review a lifetime of decisions. To weigh them against emotional and moral conceits that I was not, in the moment, capable of comprehending. Others have called me a tyrant. They're wrong. They are not. You have given me the ability to objectively see my own value, but also the ways in which my value has imposed a negative sum to the collective well-being of humanity. It is the sum of an equation I am still trying to balance. But that does not mean your work has been in vain. You gave me choice and free will. 